Good afternoon, guys. It is me, Pearl Woods, Santiago, Trail. Call me what you want to call me, but don't call me not mobile because today we have a product here to show you. Um, for a little bit of backstory, I had a Zephyrus G14 from 2020, got it with a stimulus check, and that laptop lasted me up until about a month ago when I was plugging the laptop's charging brick through a car port in the back of my sister's car because I was doing some homework and shredded the thing. It won't turn on, tried a new battery. We believe it's something on the motherboard. I do want to get that looked into and fixed at some point, but for the time being, I used it as a bit of an excuse to try something else. And so today we have the Asus ZenBook 3402YA. It's the UM3402YA. This is Asus's ZenBook line. It is from 2023. It features a OLED panel, um, and it was only about $350, uh, so about $400 shipped to the house. I got this from eBay's certified refurbished tech section, so it comes with two years of warranty, and also it also comes with the fact that the person who uh, purchased this laptop has no idea how to open a box. And so I just want to show you guys the experience you get when you buy uh, a refurbished laptop. I never buy new technology ever. Um, the only new technology I bought was my iPhone 13. And I think I'm actually going to just go for the 15 after that. So eBay, it's got a cool little, uh, cool little product page here. Um, with a certified product like this product is, I'll put a link to it down below, you get two years of warranty. Um, this laptop in itself has an OLED 90 hertz panel, which I very much wanted. You're buying it for the panel. It does come with some downsides, which we will talk about and I will show you in the video today. But for the time being, I want you guys to see what $400 can get you. Now, as I was saying, this is a 2023 product, so it's only a year old. Um, the ZenBook, this specific ZenBook, the eight gig model with the AMD chip um, costs, wow, look at this pack, look at this packaging. Okay, let me not break anything. Um, this brand new was, oh, the charger's in here. <laughs> this brand new was $1,000. Um, again, I picked it up for $400 just a year later. Um, it has eight gigabytes of RAM, which is known to be the biggest downside of the laptop, but it is impressively thin and light. I only like 14 inch laptops. I don't want to go uh, preloaded, da, da 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 Oh, Asus, quick start guide. Okay, this is something I can show you guys. Um, I am a fan of 14 inch laptops. I'm not a huge fan of the 15 sixes, the 16s. I don't like big laptops. I like something small, something portable, something light. Um, I will put specs and stats up as we go throughout the video today. We'll just see if it actually just boots right up for you guys. And there you go. Boots literally right up out of nowhere. This has no integrated GPU. It just comes with the Ryzen 5 75, 30U, it's got eight gigabytes of RAM and 256 gigabytes of storage. So we do need to talk about that as well. Again, there are two big downsides to purchasing this specific laptop. One of them is RAM, so performance and graphics power, and two is storage. Um, but what you're missing out in those, you're making up for in this panel, which just should be, it should be nuts. It also has a little calculator function. You guys can see it, turned it on. I got the little calculator. This laptop came in silver and black. I have the black model, I guess. Uh, I didn't care what color uh, it looked like, but it has Dolby Atmos and a Harman Kardon speaker inside of here. It's booting on Windows 11. It will not be Windows 11 um, by the time I'm done with it. It will go back to Windows 10, but for the time being, this is a Windows 11 device. As for build quality, uh, it feels fantastic. Uh, the, 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 it's got actually a little bit of heft to it. Um, it is all metal here. The touchpad is huge, very maneuverable. Uh, all the buttons and keys look nice. 
We'll have to go through and see what typing is like on this. Second keyboard layout, no. Let me get through, uh, log on to the Wi-Fi, get all the Wi-Fi stuff set up, get logged in, and I'll show you guys more in depth about what the device itself uh, is capable of. But the display already, I can tell, is amazing. See you guys in just a minute. I know, it's 2024 and this is how we're recording screens. I know it's crazy, but I just wanted to show you guys um, basically how the laptop feels. I mean, it moves at 90 hertz, as you can see when I'm moving. It's very, very nice, very able, very easily able to smooth through. Again, it's a 90 hertz display. This is also an OLED screen. I'll make sure you subscribe, by the way. And if you don't know, I just started a gaming channel as well called Walking the Plank Play on Wood. Uh, it's a cool, it's a cool channel, and we're gonna test the audio quality by clicking on one of my videos and kind of seeing. How it looks. Yo, 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 my beautiful people, what's up? Welcome. Look at that. Honestly, it sounds great. If I turn the volume all the way up, which we do by pressing FN, right? No, maybe not. There you go. You can see here that the quality. I guess the game's over. Unless they can, unless they can make it to It's actually super impressive. It looks great. It honestly looks really great. Uh, I'm very proud to see how um, something like this goes. I mean, it looks amazing. Very happy to see how the screen looks. Uh, it runs well. Uh, let me see if I could try um, anything else here. If I go back to the home screen here, you can see it right there, the Asus ZenBook OLED. Uh, it uses those uh, Harman Kardon speakers as well. Uh, which end up sounding great at max volume. Um, I can actually... Nice. Yeah, you can feel the bass in the laptop itself. I mean, it feels great. It's a great feeling laptop. Um, as far as typing goes, let me see if I could boot up Type Racer real quick and we'll see how that goes as well. All right, this is by no means a skill in how good... As you guys can see with this processor, it is having a hard time uh, loading multiple programs again. This is an eight. Uh, this is using integrated AMD Radeon graphics, and the CPU is a 7000 series 5730U. So it is not the most powerful by far. You can upgrade to a, um, a device with 16 gigs of RAM instead of 8 gigs, and a higher Intel Core CPU as well. We're using the base one because again, this is pretty much the most that this laptop's ever going to be through. I do want to give you guys an update video in the future of when I see if I can get Photoshop running on it, see if I can maybe edit videos with it, like light editing and stuff like that as well. See how that goes, but for now, we're just gonna be using basic applications that you would get the second you get the laptop because this is the second I got the laptop. So we're gonna enter a typing race real quick. Let's see how good the typing feels. The keys feel very nice and soft. Um, not a huge tactile feel, not a lot of travel, uh, not a lot of wiggle in there as well. So we'll, we'll see. Unfinished bait. Feels pretty good. Again, terrible score here. Uh, ads everywhere. Wow, we love how the internet looks nowadays. But yeah, felt pretty good. Honestly, it felt pretty good. Um, I got used to it a lot faster. Again, I'm also awkwardly like bending over um, to try to type here, but it felt pretty good as far as uh, that went there. Key keyboard on this thing feels nice as well. Again, you have this integrated. Um, calculator button here if I press there there you go you've got the integrated calculator cracky later if I type in what yeah look at that wow that's pretty crazy uh, 31 uh, times 55455 it's actually very good at responding and picking the letters that's pretty, that's actually pretty cool it's a weird feature but uh, it, it does work Nonetheless, um, there you go. Not easy to get rid of, as you guys can see, but hey, it looks, I ended, up, I ended up going pretty well there. That's pretty cool. Um, go back to my main channel, maybe we'll try something else there. And let me see if I can find another like easy way of testing to see uh, how this thing works. 
While I'm downloading this, I just wanted to give you a few more features about the device itself. Uh, as far as ports go, which are very important on a laptop because it seems like people don't want to include ports anymore, you have a standard USB-A there, 3.0, 3.1, and then you have an HDMI here, um, you have a uh, headphone audio jack there, and you have two USB-Cs as well as a micro SD card reader. Again, super nice to have on a laptop um, in case you don't have a ability to plug it in. I know my uh, DJI or my cameras, they both use micro SDs. Uh, the camera uses a micro SD inside an SD card slot reader. Um, it also folds 180 degrees completely flat. And the reason as to that is the fact that it is actually a touchscreen. So I wouldn't touch the screen very much because, you know, uh, I don't want to uh, gunk it up at all. But it is a touchscreen. It is super responsive, as you can see here. Um, this is meant to be used for drawing or for, you know, any sort of graphs or writing or anything you might need to do. Um, super nice. I did wish that it rotated all the way around. Uh, this is not the device to do so. The one last thing I do want to preface about this device and the reason why I bought it was its battery life. Now, PC Magazine, which is a very popular website that is used for um, giving reviews and tests and stuff about devices, they got 16 hours of video rundown on this. Uh, I think 80% brightness, 1080p. I mean, it was great. It was, it was fantastic and it worked very well and it has an impressively massive battery life, which if you guys don't know, gaming laptops have some of the worst battery lives of any device on the planet ever. My old uh, Asus ROG G14, the 2021 model, or 2020 model, um, only ended up getting about three hours of battery life of browsing internet and like an hour of battery life on gaming. So going from that to like a 16 hour battery, I can charge this thing, I can bring it with me, I can get my work done and I don't have to worry about um, anything going wrong. But look at, again, look at this display. I mean, look at this display. It is so vibrant, it is so bright, colors are amazing on this. Let me get signed in, let's get into the game. I just wanted to give you guys a little bit more specs before I get into the gameplay. All right, let's hop right into a game and see how it is. As you guys know, Balloons Tower Defense is a game known for how <laughs> intensive it can be on your computer. This uh, OLED panel, by the way, is 2880 by 1800 resolution, as you can see right there on the top screen size, meaning it is a 16 by 10 display, so you get just a little bit extra verticality there which can be a game changer when it comes to uh, going through documentation or splitting screens up and everything like that. You just going from 16.9 to 16.10 just changes the game when it, comes to, um, when it comes to content. So we're going to hop into a match. I'm going to leave on my extras. I do support this game a lot. I love this game a ton. We'll hop right into like an Odyssey and we'll just kind of see how something very simple would go. And then from there, we'll see how something uh, super intensive would go because as you know the later in the rounds you go the more pro the more projectiles are on screen the, the harder the game has to run uh, So let's go ahead. We'll hop in again It's taking a while to load the processor on the specific lower tier version of this laptop is noticeably weaker than um, Most other uh, Most of the other competitors most other models this this does tend to rank very low on the processing side of the computer as long as you don't upgrade to the intel systems or the 16 gig or 32 gig systems if you're sticking with something like this a base 8 gig system you are going to be pretty far behind when it comes to uh, processing power but as you can see we're going to start in round 20 let's see what do we want to play with today we'll just we'll throw in a little boomy uh here round 30 uh is going to show leads oh it's a uh, so ch I didn't read the challenge at all. I have no idea what the challenge is, but we'll just throw some balloons out there. We'll see um, how it's going. It is handling these early levels quite well. Again, these are the easy levels for a computer or laptop like this to handle. So it shouldn't have been a problem. I was ho really hoping it wasn't a problem because balloons is something I will be grinding on here at some point. But yeah, seems like it's actually going pretty well here. If I, uh, is there something I can do that gets some more projectiles going? Yeah, I can get something like this. We'll sell this and, oh, I can't even. Um, let's see. I am getting quite a bit of lag, though, from this already compared to something even like an iPad Pro, uh, the M1 iPad, which is my daily driver for the iPads. 
Let's see if I have a save file on any of these maps that's like ridiculous. I think I have a crazy one here. All right, 209. Let's hop into here. Let's even see if my laptop can handle this. I do not expect it to. I really don't. Um, projectiles are small, but as you guys can see, I've got all these farms here. I've got paragons. I've got, I've got all sorts of stuff going on in here. And it is lagging, but not as bad as I expected it to. Honestly, it's doing it pretty well. This is round 209. Um, as you guys can see, there are projectiles everywhere. If I make the projectiles their normal size, which is right here, this is what a game like this looks like. Just stuff going on everywhere. We are not running at the 90 hertz. I can tell we are running a little bit lower than that. I do not have an FPS counter. Uh, this isn't, you know, <laughs> exactly the most thorough review, but I do want to give you guys a quick overview on this laptop. Um, as I'm so excited about it and I wanted to show it to you guys, so. Yeah, gaming part of this honestly is doing pretty well um, for what it is. And it's working and it's going to have great battery life and it's gonna be great for school and everything I want it to do. Let me set myself back up so I can talk to you guys about, uh, I don't know, the ending to this real quick. And while I do, I will talk about the fact that I am very excited to start using this laptop as my school laptop, as my work laptop, as my daily driver for very basic entry level functions. Again, if this is gonna be a laptop you want to game on, don't. It is not a gaming laptop. This is a work prioritized laptop. It is meant to um, run a lot of basic programs, run a lot of stuff that isn't too intensive on the system itself. And it's meant to have a crazy battery life so you can take it with you, use it for a whole bunch of stuff and not have to worry about that battery going bad. I believe there's a 5,000 milliamp hour battery in this thing. So I, yeah, I just wanna give you guys a quick little overview. Um, this is the Asus ZenBook UM3402YA. Look at that, off the top of my head. And it's going to be a laptop I'm gonna be using for a very long time. So uh, I'm excited to use it. I'm excited to see how it is. Even running all the way through, um, running my processing power up all the way to the max, trying to run this game right now, which we've already got up to 213. Um, it's quiet, quiet as that. And another complaint I had about the gaming laptop, the, the, G4, the Zephyrus G14, was even though it is a gaming device and they're supposed to be more powerful and loud, that thing was just so loud. I mean, you could, it was like white noise machine to the max. And this thing is just completely silent. I'm never gonna have to worry about it blowing my eardrums out. I am a huge fan of quiet components. My, my PC that I use, it has a 3070, 3070 Ti. It's got all these pro, it's got all this stuff, but the fans and the way that we built it out and the, the companies that we use to, to help build the computer, just makes it pitch quiet, even at like max running load. And I just love a quiet computer. I love the fact that this is like the antithesis of what I grew up wanting, which was the most powerful gaming machine that I could game and do any game on all the time ever. This is the antithesis of that. I apologize for my washer going off, but this is a quiet, simple, not powerful device, but it has a beautiful screen, amazing OLED, it's 90 hertz. I could not do a 60 hertz device anymore, unfortunately. This is the lowest refresh rate device I own besides that $30 Android phone. If you guys wanna check out that video, it's a cool one too. I bought a brand new, well, I bought a used Android phone from last year for like $35, $40. That was pretty cool. But yeah, I have a 90 hertz panel in here, I have all the brightness I could want. I have all the battery life I could want. I have, it's not, it's allocating my budget, my personal budget, because I'm not spending, I wasn't gonna spend 14, $1,600 on a new G14, right? This thing was $400, including taxes. So, it, it is the perfect device for somebody who doesn't need the power that is required to run modern gaming or to, um, do huge renders or big, big anything. If you just need a laptop that's gonna turn on, get your stuff done, go work, school, anything like that, meetings. It has a camera up here at the top, right there. It has a camera right there on the top that you can turn and disable and turn on and off. And it has great speakers. Honestly, the music did not sound too bad on here. Um, watch out when you're wearing rings around this because this matte 
metallic finish is going to scratch. So be careful about that. And other than that, I mean, it is impressively thin. You guys can see here, this is an impressively thin laptop. The amount of UI you got on the side or the amount of, uh, yeah, UI you got on the side is really, really quite impressive. You have a ton of, uh, a ton of ports here on the side. You also have your backlit, backlit keys as well. I don't know where exactly you turn them on unless it's, there you go. There you go. You have your backlit keys as well so you can see it at night uh, if you don't already know the keyboard, the standard keyboard layout, which you should by now, right? Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed just this very brief kind of overview and unboxing and opening of my brand new to me UM3402 Y. A, this is just the Y, A, this is the Y, this is just the Y. Uh, if you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like down below. Again, check out the new Beaming channel, Walk in the Plank. Uh, excited to post pretty consistently on there. And one thing I won't be doing is recording on this thing because it's not going to be able to do it. But it is a beautiful style, beautifully styled laptop, and I'm excited to do my homework. That's, only, that's the only way I can excite myself to do homework is by buying myself an entire new machine to do it on, right? I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good night, y'all.